This video will demonstrate how to use the Wavelink's wireless area controller's internal web pages to update controller and device firmware. Before updating firmware, download the latest firmware file from Eaton's Wavelink's wireless area controller web page. The link should be located in the download section under technical information. Once the file is downloaded, extract the necessary file from the zip file provided. Save the extracted .tgz file to an easily accessible location. Next, establish a connection between the computer and the wireless area controller. Once logged in, navigate to the firmware page to access the update section. Select the Browse button and locate the previously saved .tgz firmware file on the computer. Next, select the Upload button to begin transferring the file. The file transfer may take several minutes. During the transfer, the display may show a spinning wheel icon which will disappear and display a success message once the transfer is complete. Next, look at the WAC Update Version column. If the version number listed for update is newer than the current version shown, click on the Update button. The controller update will run for approximately five minutes. During this time, the spinning wheel icon may be displayed, followed by the message that the computer will be logged out during the update. Once completed, the web browser should display the administrator login page. Enter the login credentials for the administrator and then navigate to the firmware page. Next, begin the process to update device firmware. Select the Get All Devices button in the End Device Update section of the screen. When prompted, log in to the Lighting Engine using the same administrator username and password used for the internal web page access. At the top of the End Device section, a list of the device firmware files that were transferred to the controller are displayed. At the bottom of the section is a list of all the devices that are paired and communicating with this controller. If a device's current firmware matches the device firmware in the controller, the device will be skipped. Devices that are older versions will be updated. To begin the update, click the Start Update button at the bottom of the screen. Typically, two devices update at a time. Each update takes approximately two minutes. An indicator bar in the status column will show the device update process for devices that are actively updating. For systems with large quantities of devices, the upgrade process may take a while. Once the update has started, it is not necessary to remain connected. Simply click on the Logout button and close the web page. The updates will continue to run until they are completed. Log back in at any time to view the status of the update. Once the Light Engine login is processed, if devices are still updating, the status indicator bar will be displayed in the device's status column. If the update has completed, the status column will be blank and the Start Update button will be active at the bottom of the page. The current firmware version column should match the available firmware version for all displayed devices. The firmware update is now complete. Select the Logout from Lightning Engine button at the bottom of the screen, and then log out and close the browser.